So what, what if you get really triggered by your boss, or even traumatized by your boss? What can you do? You're with your boss and every time they're around... I had that actually, I can not even speak. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't doing spiritual work at the time. My, my boss, in, one of my bosses in the stock market would run around threatening to fire people. And, you know, I'd have absolute terror if he was ever anywhere near my desk. So he was, yeah, he was a, you know, so he was a traumatizing boss. But what I do nowadays, if that were to happen, First of all, I understand when these things happen, it's probably got a lot of history. It's not just him, it's lifetimes worth of this person, this type of person triggering you so severely that you get so disconnected. It's not just him and your story with him. It might have been boss after boss for lifetime <coughs> after lifetime. Or it could be your boss reminds you of your mother or your father or something, where you were extremely, there is an archetype or a pattern and then you can get extreme disconnection around a certain individual. Um, I would work on it, uh, how you work on it beforehand is, um, is uh, doing, uh, you know, the feeling the feelings. So if there's fear, trauma, shaking in the body, uh, visceral upset, just sitting with that every day and releasing the level of intensity of feelings because it's a reservoir. Let's say, uh, I'll try and make it more easy. Let's say uh, every time I see my boss, I get absolutely traumatized. That might be like six lifetimes of having problems with terrifying bosses. So to have a picture of it, it's like, well, it's, this boss is, is very scary. And also for the last three lifetimes, I've had scary bosses. And I've not been doing spiritual work for the last three lifetimes with this type of character. So I've accumulated like three lifetimes worth of repressed feelings. I don't know if that makes sense. So I've got to do a lot of feel the feelings out to get to like, it doesn't affect me any longer. So let's get to work. I'm gonna sit down every, every day for half an hour as long as I can and sit with these feelings that are coming up around my boss and try and get, try and take as much of a chunk out of it every day. Maybe I've got like 300 hours of sitting with boss feelings that I've got to go through. So to do every day, if I can do half an hour, uh, from a tricks of the trade, being a hypnotherapist, is like, if you're not feeling fearful right now, just imagine your, your boss in your mind sort of telling you you're fired or whatever it is, or you're not good enough, and try and bring up the feelings and then feel them out. And that way you can just try and clear things even if you're not feeling triggered at the moment. So you can pre-fill out, because you've got a reservoir. To the extent that you meet your boss and you, you've, you've felt out most of these feelings, there'll be less of a trigger. Because you have to, you have to like dissolve the whole bank of repressed feelings around bosses, if that makes sense. So one is like feel the feelings. Um, also bring up the feelings when you're at home, if you can. Try and imagine the scary boss, and then bring up some more feelings, uh, and and then do do it. If you get emails from your boss, which is scary, then you can also sit with your feelings and look at the email. Or you know, you know, I sometimes take if there's people I have problems with, if I can find a photo of them on the internet. And I've got really, then I'll, I'll look at the photo and just clear my feelings looking at their photo because it, I don't like this person. See the face, I got it from, I got it from the web because it's open. It's open there. And then I look at it and then I just keep feeling the feelings until there's no feelings left. I feel neutral around it. So I can bring up the feelings and clear the back. Now I, I shared about this with my mother. You know, there's so many components to getting triggered and you want to cl clear every single component. Is it the facial expression? Is it the choice of words? Is it, the, is it the way they walk? Is it the way they stare? Um, is it the, you know, so there's all these things which can be, oh, I don't like the voice tone, I don't like the look on the face, I don't like the way they stare, I don't like the, the way they walk, I don't like the way they point their finger at me when they're talking. So all of these are different, at different things which trigger me. And you want to like, when you're doing the cancelling of beliefs or placing to God's infinite light and love and praying for miracles and transcendence, you know, you, you, you're, try, you're, you're just picking up, you know, I, I place my boss, boss's voice tone into God's infinite light and love and pray for me. I cancel, I cancel the effect of my boss's voice tone on me. Uh, I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Because, you know, what am I holding in mind? I'm, I'm fa holding in mind that voice tone affects me, so I need to cancel that out. I'm, face, I'm holding in mind that facial expressions affect me, so I need to cancel that choice of words, like you're fired. I cancel my belief that you're fired. 
mean, you're fired is just mumblings of, of noise, isn't it, really? I mean, if somebody says to me, like, there's a duck, duck quacking outside, outside, would that put anybody in trauma? But if I said to you, I've just got a message, your boss said you're fired, I mean, those are just words. They're just meaning mumbles, aren't they, really? In truth, if you just perceive it as noise, you can make meaningless you're fired should be the same as there's a duck outside your, your house, you see. So if, if consciousness can make something meaningful, it can make it meaningless. I don't know if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. If a facial expression mm -hmm. is meaningful, like if I see a pillow, do I go into trauma? But why do I go into trauma if I see my boss's face? Why do, you know, if, I, if somebody says there's a duck outside, that's just, a, just some words. But if someone says you, you just, you're fired, but those are words as well. So if you can make all words meaningless, you can make any words meaningless. So though your fired is special in your consciousness, so you can make it unspecial. Like a facial expression is special, but you can make it meaningless. It doesn't really mean anything. Um, you know, so now, so you've got all the bits, facial expressions, data, choice of words, you can make them, you can put all of this in a list, I put all of these in a list and have my prayer list every day for counsellings and placing into God's infinite light and love and praying for a miracle. It depends how much the pain is and to how much you want, you're going to be doing, how much you're going to be doing through all the feelings, counselling beliefs, placing into God's infinite light and love, sitting with feelings. Um, your internal, you know, letting go of the worst possible outcome and processing your feelings around the worst possible outcome and placing that into like, oh, if, I, if he fires me, then I'll be homeless and I'll die. Well, just feel the feelings out of your homeless and dying on the street, you know, and then when you get to peace around that, you know, you, his charge or your feeling of him saying you're fired or whatever it is, you'll find that your reactions get less and less, you know, to his, his facial expressions, his tones, his thing. You're taking out everything that it means to you and your worst possible outcomes and all the cues of data, facial expressions, you're working on all of those. So those are the things I'd do before. In terms of what do I do if I get... Well, you know, going into a meeting, I would have a period of time, if you can, in the toilet. The toilet's a good place. You know, you've got your boss, you meet your boss at 3 o'clock. Like, you suddenly you need to go to the toilet at 10 to 3, sort of thing. <laughs> you know, whatever it is, God's you know. <laughs> so, yeah. so it's like, okay, so you're going to the toilet at 10 to 3, you're practicing the observer, feeling any feelings out, placing your boss into God's infinite life, and praying for a miracle, cancel your facial expressions, just call up your spiritual mentor and say, like, can you say anything about this before I go in? And uh, so, and you'll be working. Now, when you go in and meet your boss, this is the thing with spiritual work. If you're connected, what's the first thing that disconnects you? If you're in the observer, Always be conscious of the first thing that takes you out of a connected spiritual state. Because that should be now added onto your prayer list and your observer list and your feel the feelings. Don't go in. Always, you should always be conscious if you're in a spiritual state. What is the thing? What is the thought or the facial expression that takes me out? This is really important. Because to protect spiritual states, you need to know what is the first thing that takes you out of a spiritual state. Don't try and go unconsciously from spiritual states to disconnected and didn't know how it happened. You should always be like, when you're in a spiritual state of flow, you should be mindful to keep it. And if you suddenly get disconnected, how do you get disconnected? Usually it's like a thought grabbed you out, a special thought, or a spe you know, uh, it could be a special person or a special thought, otherwise you won't go out of a spiritual state. Or a special thought came up in your consciousness, like, I've got a work meeting tomorrow. Was it that thought that took you out? And then put that on. Because each time you go to see your boss, you're wanting to maintain connection. But each time you get disconnected, you should at least have more information for the next time you go in to clear the thing that disconnected you. I don't know if that made sense. And clear everything. Okay, I got this. The first thing that disconnected me from my boss was this. But also, I think during the conversation, that disconnected me and that disconnected me. So these are now things which you... Basically, you're transcending the hooks. I call it transcending the hooks. You're finding out all the little hooks that this... But you have to get to complete transcendence. You're feeling the feelings, uh, cancelling them, and, uh, and then going back into the situation. And then you're seeing your level of disconnection from that situation. And your, your aim is so that the next... 
eventually when you see your boss there's no disconnection there's nothing they can say that they can scream they can shout they can say you're fired they can jump up and down and you'll still be totally it's totally connected through the whole thing but then you've done all that spiritual work now is there a magic I, I can't say like you know like click your fingers after you've become disconnected and you suddenly be connected because it's you know what disconnect what disconnects you with your boss are all the untranscended hooks that you haven't yet transcended. So if you've got like a hundred hooks with your boss, I can't give you like a magic wand to sort of say like to clear that spiritual work of those hundred hooks. You have to like clear those hundred hooks. The emotional feelings and the hooks need to be transcended. Um, also, your boss will be mystical. As you transcend a hook, he'll bring another hook up because the universe will will act through him to give you every single hook for you to transcend until you transcend them all. But you will find as you work on them that the intensity of disconnection will get less and less uh, and the hooks will get less and less because the, as the emotional charge, as you release the emotional charge and place, cancel and put into God's infinite light every single hook, you'll find the level of intensity of disconnection will, will drop. You know, you go in, so you, you know, so doing all of those things, and you'll find over time that it will, um, it will go down. Uh, and, uh, you know, so those would be the things I would do.